Tess was a, uh, you know, a young innocent girl who, you know, obviously nothing like this should have ever happened to anybody. I'm 680 News reporter Irene Preklip. It started as a night out at a club with a friend, but Tess Ritchie would never be seen alive again. About 10 weeks after her body was found in the church in Wellesley area, Toronto police announced an arrest in the murder of the 22-year-old. She had been strangled. Yesterday at about 11 p.m., uh, we were able to effect the arrest of the uh, person responsible for Tess's murder. Uh, we're alleging that he's responsible. Uh, he was arrested for second-degree murder, and his name is Kalen Schlatter. Detective Sergeant Graham Gibson calls this a crime of opportunity and says Tess and the suspect met the night she disappeared. We believe that they were together uh, alone in that area, and uh, they were together for some time, and that Mr. Uh, Schlatter left the area, and that uh, by the time he left, Tess uh, was already unfortunately deceased. He says the 21-year-old accused is the man pictured in surveillance video released in December when police had named him a person of interest. Gibson says video evidence was key in this arrest. I also want to take this time to thank the members of the community, uh, businesses and private individuals who were uh, able to assist us by supplying us with video surveillance in that area for the night a test went missing. Schlatter lives in the West End and works as a contractor. He appeared in court this morning where he was remanded into custody. I'm Irene Preklet for City News.